Hey y'all, this is Girl Guitar, aka Lefty Strings. And I'm getting ready to show you guys how I, how I do my chord changes. The E minor chord and A suspended too. I'm not even looking, you saw that? <laughs> y'all got that camera. Fingers do hurt a little bit. All I learned how to do up and down. And uh, down, up, down, up strokes. You gotta build calluses in your finger. I want to try that. He was like, Guess she ain't cocky with it. <laughs> Is that what he did? Dun, 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 dun. And also, when I was starting out in the beginning, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I was playing the D major chord because I was taking Jason's guitar chords. And I real for beginners, and he started with the D major chord, so I thought I had to start with the D major chord because I wanted to take a online course that was easier to follow, like all in line. So I realized that that wasn't the way to go. Oh, there got my mascot. Come here, Kitty Boo. Kitty. Yeah, he's so sexy. Shout out to Juno, you know the artist, because she's the one who is like. When I saw her story, and it was just like mine, I was like, yes, it's on. She hype. This might be weird, but. I like the pain in my fingertips. Okay, so I'm getting ready to show you what I just was like learning from Marty Music. It's to strum and keep strumming. It's like it's like free strum. I want to get it to the point when I'm going back and forth, there's no space in between, like there's no silence. It's actually like effortless. Okay, y'all, so that wraps up my guitar progress for today. It is now 8 o'clock p.m. Place my fingers on the frets without even looking as I was going back and forth just strumming. I guess I was so into like the sound and the strumming patterns of it all. Like it didn't even matter. Like, I don't know, like I wasn't, I didn't even realize that I was going back and forth between the chords. So that's really exciting. And picking up different strumming patterns and making my own patterns. Okay, so today I also noticed that I was able to place my fingers better on the fretboard. I wasn't looking as much as I was yesterday to for finger placement when I was getting ready to place my fingers on the frets. Tomorrow what I want to work on is more of a cleaner sound, more of a clearer sound when I'm going between the chords and a different strumming pattern and a faster strumming pattern. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more progress videos on the way. Love you so much. Bye.